White manager versus black manager. Which what is better? So, I don't have... Well, that's another story for another day, too. I don't run through about like 11, 12 jobs. Right? I know. Real nigga shit, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I had to make do with do. That's a whole nother story. But white betters versus black betters. I go back just to working at Publix. You know what I'm saying? Publix was like one of my first jobs I worked at. Shout out to Publix. You know what I'm saying? They take care of their people. You know what I'm saying? But I had a lot of better just working up. I worked up for a while. Well, not that long, but they switch managers like women switch men. You get what I'm saying? But I had a white manager. I had a black manager. I had a white black manager. I had a black white manager. I'm going to tell you the stories about all love, really. So I start off with the black manager. This nigga here, like, he act white. So he like the black white manager. Right, good dude, you know what I'm saying? But he just like too corn, like he just too like overdoing it. You know, you get one of them black people, like black managers that just want to act kind of like, you know what I'm saying? He want to act too authority, like bro, like like white people watching him 24 seven on the surveillance type. You get what I'm saying? Like this man wouldn't give up. You did like. I mean, when I first started working there, he used to ask me questions like. You know, why do you got gold teeth in your mouth, young man? And I just be like, bro, because I want gold teeth. What the, the hell? Nigga, that's my personal of why I want something. I can see if you say I couldn't have it, but you're like, that's why do you got it? Bro, then this man asked me, like, you know, like, why do you wear your pants like that? Bro. Cause I fucking want to. What you mean? You want to wear my pants like that? So he's been my trail by everything. Right? He's been my trail by everything. I remember this one time. I was down the aisle. Right? And I ain't really had too much. I'm young. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably like 18. You know what I'm saying? I had just got some trouble. I had to get a job. You get what I'm saying? That's a whole nother story too. And I asked a, a customer for some change. I should not know I should have been asking for no change, but I asked the customer, I asked the customer for some change, right? It wasn't no more about like 25 cents. I need like 25 cents or something, right? Because I ain't had no change. But I had money, but I had no change. I don't know why I needed it. I forgot. He must have walked past, seen me, and watched me and like heard the conversation, right? This man invited me up to the. Um, Mr. Brooks, I'm about to see you um, upstairs in my office around certain certain o'clock. You know, I'm kind of like, what's going on here? So, you know, he already been on my trail, like I said. So I get in the office. He like, Mr. Brooks, um, what did you ask that lady for? I you know, I just turned out to him like, what you be? I'm like, you like the lady or the owl you was with? Like, what's your I was like, oh, I just asked him for like 25 cents, 20, 30 cents, whatever. He like, you can see he kind of like flipped in his head like he wanted to do something to me, like he wanted to fight. You dig what I'm saying? But I'm looking at him like, nigga, what the fuck you finna do? You ain't finna do nothing? I didn't think nothing of it. You know what I'm saying? But he looking crazy. So... He give me the eye. I'm giving him the eye. He giving me the eye. I'm giving him the eye. Like, nigga, where we going with this? What, what we doing? So, he said, Mr. Brooks, you know, why did you ask that, that lady for some money? And I was like, damn, I did ask her for some money. And it didn't hit me till he said that. And I was kind of like... Damn, I did ask a customer for some money in a store. And he then then he then he say, Mr. Brooks, you look like one of the people outside the door asking for money. I say, What? 
I started thinking, damn, that is what these motherfuckers do outside the goddamn door when people, customers leave. And I'm in the store working, asking the customer for some change. It, I, I kind of did feel like a junkie. You know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of felt like a junkie right then because he was right. But, you know, I couldn't really do too much about it. So, you know what I'm saying? I took the L. But that was my black, white manager. Now, I had a white, black manager. You get what I'm saying? He like one of the coolest people. Like, listen, he going to come help you. He gonna, he run the flow. He going to come help you when you need help. Any questions you need, he there. You get what I'm saying? That was my dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was my dog. Like, I don't care what nobody say. You know what I'm saying? Like, and his name was, you know what I'm saying? His name was, his name was Chris. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was my dog. You get what I'm saying? So, I mean, but, but, but it's kind of like everybody turned their back on him when they found out that he, like, um, he kind of, like, got in an altercation with his wife. And I guess he beat up his wife. I don't know the whole thing about it. I just heard about it. You get what I'm saying? So I heard about it. You know what I'm saying? So he called. Everybody heard it. I mean, look, the whole store heard about it. You get what I'm saying? But I heard about it last. But I was gone. I was gone for like, I don't know what. I don't know how I was doing. I probably got from, from it was probably from asking for that change thing. But I don't know. I was gone for a while. And I come back. And, but like I'm saying, I don't know what's going on. So, you know, he, he see me one day. And he was going for a while too. They say he was going for a while too. So I was kind of like, what was going on? So they say he was going like he was going for a while too. So he got back. I was working, but when he got back, he like I ain't see him talking to nobody. And he talking to me, and I'm like, I know we cool, but I don't. I don't know what happened. You know, what I'm, I'm trying not to know what. I'm not even trying to even. Cause you know how that feel you. You, you know, you don't did some shit, and then people ask, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you want to know what people think? You just hang around for, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, he, I'm a stalker. He's a stock manager, you know what I'm saying? So, he like, what's up, uh, Mr. Brooks? I'm like, what's up, man? What's going on, dog? He like, what happened? I'm like, what you mean, what happened? He like, what happened? I'm like... What you be what happened? He say, um, man, come on, man. You know what happened. He talking about, man, just tell me what happened. I'm like, what do you mean what happened, bitch? No, I don't know. What happened? You tell me. He say, man, we supposed to be cool, man. You know what happened. I say, I don't know. I don't know what happened. Tell me. What happened? I'm still acting dumbfounded. I'm not finna sit here and tell this man, my my manager, that I know he beat up his wife. I, I don't know nothing. I don't know. I don't know. I'm young. I don't want no trouble. I don't know nothing. Go talk to the grown folks, old man. Don't come chastise me. You get what I'm saying? So, he kept asking me, and I just kept saying no. You know what I'm saying? I like I didn't know nothing at all. So, that's my white black manager. You know what I'm saying? Then I got a, I don't know what to call him. What, 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 what is this one? Should I do the white manager? I'm going to go to white manager. We'll go back to the... Uh, the black manager. Okay, we'll go back to the black manager and then to the white manager. So the white manager, right? He the one just bothered me all day. You get what I'm saying? Like he won't stop bothering your ass all motherfucking day. The white manager gonna be on your ass twenty four seven. He he makes sure the whole store is clean and 
Every department is right. He's walking around 24-7 doing everything he's supposed to be doing. You know what I'm talking about? He's the white manager, okay? Stick with me. I'm talking about first day he owned me. Who let this nigga in? That's just the energy I felt from him, okay? I'm not saying he actually said that. You know what I'm saying? Because there would have been a brawl out with every black associate. You know what I'm saying? He didn't say that. I just felt like that's what he said. So he comes in his first day. I'm like, you know, he look at me. I see him. I'm like, what the fuck kind of look that was? This nigga just gave me the craziest look. Some racist shit, right? <laughs> but I was like, went on about my day. I, I didn't know. I didn't think too much of it. But, so, you know, he does, he does his little thing every other day. He starts bothering me about he checking, he checking what time I come in. He checking what time I go on lunch and come back. As if I'm late, he checking on time. He checking the scene I left that mug. I don't know what for. He checked on that too. Critiquing me on how the can should be stacked. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't been here, and I know how to stack cans. He don't know I'm, like, the best can stacker. So, you know, I'm like, bro, I, know, I do this, bro. Back, back. You know what I'm saying? Like, give me some space, nigga. I do this. You know what I'm saying? I felt like I said that strongly. It was in my head, but I felt like I said it strongly, out loud. But it was in my head. You know, I don't, I'm not trying to get fired. First, my first day. So, um, this, this man had me mopping the top of, you know, the freezers. Like where the food be at. Had me mopping the top of the freezers. Like where, they, like, where do they do this at, my man? Like, what? Like... I ain't haven't seen nobody mop no top of no freak, bro. I ain't never seen nobody mop no top of a freezer in the public, bro. I never seen nobody in life in the day of my life. Like, I'm talking about ever since I was little going to Publix. I think I never seen nobody on top of the freezer. I think I was the first nigga in history to mop a top of a freezer. I think I'm the first nigga in history. If you know somebody that mop. The top of Publix food freezers, y'all email me, right? That nigga deserves, that nigga deserves a, a, a raise. He deserves free lunch, right? He deserves, you dig what I'm saying? Like, that's a gold platinum medal to get out there and mop the top of a freezer, bro, in front of everybody. I thought I was back in 1923. Listen. 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 I thought it was slavery time again. How he had me on top of that goddamn freezer. But yeah, but yeah. You know, he was just on me heavy. You know what I'm saying? When he walked past me one time, I was like, fix your apron. And I'm... I look down, I'm like, nothing's wrong with my apron. I hope you're bothering everybody else in here by the apron, my guy. Nothing's wrong with my apron. So, that was another little, like, nigga just tried me. Or well, whatever. But, um, what else he checked? You know what I'm saying? He check him, check him a belt, make sure you do. Then he started, like, told me, I just started, like, when I'm, I'm young, so... I haven't even got no face hair, right? I got my first little bit of a little strand on my chin. You, you know how you, you know you get young, you get a little, you know what I'm saying, hair on your chest, you know what I'm saying? So I got, I had a little, you know what I'm saying? I had a little chin, a little, little, little strand. So I'm hyped by that. He like, oh, I'm doing the bag, but somehow I'm, I'm bagging, you know what I'm saying? You can do a stocking bag, but somehow I'm bagging. I remember. He walked through the line. was like, Mr. Brooks, you're going to have to cut that. I'm like, cut what? Cut what? What we cutting? This ain't coming off, my boy. That little screen on my chin wasn't coming off. That's your first piece of hell, aren't you?
Young man? That ain't coming off. Listen, that ain't coming off. We go, well, Whatever we got to do, we got to go in that back room and tussle. That ain't coming off. You know what I'm saying? So, um, they threatened me a couple times, you know what I'm saying? They was going to fire me, you know what I'm saying, a couple other times. And, you know, I was fighting for that chin, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it kind of came, almost came to that, you know what I'm saying? But, um... I don't know. I end up, you know, I, 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 I don't know what happened after that. You know what I'm saying? That's just the end of the story. Uh, I kind of forgot what happened after that. <laughs> but, you know, I remember having my job. So I think I won the fight. But, yeah. Not about the black manager. Now, the black manager, we don't, we don't have no problems. Me and the black manager, we don't got no problems. Every time we see each other, what we do? Hey, no, it's just simple. You know what I'm saying? It's simple. It's simple. The black manager, we don't do it. Long as the work get done, long as the work gets done in the shop, in the, you know what I'm saying? In this thing, you know, we going to, me and me and dog be meeting up in the back. We be talking about all other associates. You know what I'm saying? Laughing at them. You know what I'm saying? Looking at people running around, cutting their head off crazy. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what I'm saying? He, he, you know, he like, I'm the manager. You know? I kind of run this. And, and, and then you like, we politicking about this shit. So in my head, I'm like, shit. I'm the manager too in this motherfucker. <laughs> Listen. I'm rolling with the manager. So I'm the manager. Whatever I say, go. So I felt like the manager of the store. You get what I'm saying? We felt like we ran the store. We Well, we did. Well, I ran the store. You get what I'm saying? I felt like I ran the store. You know? Every, when I say something, go, it go. You dig what I'm saying? But that's what it felt like having a black manager. You know what I'm saying? Like, salute. You know, we salute. We dap it up, shake it up. You know? We do our thing, man. We from the same streets. You know what I'm saying? We from, we, we from the same... You did, you did what I'm saying? We came through that same lane. You Salute to you, big dog. I still see him today. We, you know what I'm saying? We chatted up. He still worked there. That's my dog. He still worked there. You know what I'm saying? Still to this day. I holler at my dog. You know what I'm saying? We chop it up, man. We talk about this. Man, listen. That's my dog. Salute to my dog at public manager. I forgot your name, bro. I... But... That's how it feels to have a black manager versus a white manager. You did. You already know what time it is, man. At Bungie727. Y'all make sure y'all like, subscribe, share. All that good stuff. You want me to keep dropping these events, man. Come on. Come on, man. Watch all along. Y'all go and watch all the videos. Matter of fact, this video over with, man. Listen. We done. Podcast over with.